Going into tonight's game against the Toronto Raptors, this was a must win for them. We all know that this team plays better when they're playing against better opponents, and obviously going against the Toronto Raptors, who are number one in the Eastern Conference, is a big game for them, especially Boston Celtics fans who get very passionate and very energized for this game. It was a very close one till the end, but Kyrie Irving and Jason Tatum hit some clutch buckets, and they ended up pulling the victory out for the Boston Celtics. But this was not without its controversy, as we all know that Kyrie Irving earlier in the week against Orlando called out his teammates, especially Gordon Hayward, after passing it to Jason Tatum, who took the final shot. We all know that he talked about how complacent and how comfortable this team felt, especially being in the fifth seed. But after that game, something crazy happened, and that was that Kyrie Irving apologized to LeBron James. He said this, Obviously, this was a big deal for me because I had to call LeBron and tell him I apologize for being that young player that wanted everything at his fingertips. And I wanted everything at my threshold, Irving said, after scoring 27 points and a career-high 18 assists. I wanted to be the guy to lead us to a championship. I wanted to be the leader. I wanted to be all that and the responsibility of being the best in the world and leading your team to something that is not meant for many people. And we all know that I questioned last video I made, I questioned his leadership and I also questioned the way that he left the Cleveland Cavaliers. You know, the way that he left was of course him saying that if you guys don't trade me, I'm going to take surgery and be out for the rest of the season. And like I said, it was a very immature thing. It was something that I was not very proud of as a Kyrie Irving fan or just, you know, a fan of basketball and just all that situation. Because the reason why I'm not is because you should be honest with whoever you're talking to, whether it's your coworker, whether it's your boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, whoever it is, you have to be honest and also be upfront with them. If you hold things back, it's going to lead to some awkward conversations and conversations that that are already awkward as it is why make it more awkward by making it more difficult than it needs to be be direct be firm if i'm kyrie irving i would have said hey lebron you know what i feel that i should be a leader of my own team i know that i i want to win a championship but i just think that it's about time that i win it without you i think that would have been a better situation for kyrie irving to go about than just to say that i'm gonna sit out because i'm gonna be injured like I said, like it, of course it's going to make for interesting headlines, of course, but at the same time, it doesn't matter. As long as you're honest, as long as you're up front with guys like LeBron James or guys like your boss, your CEO, whoever your person you're dealing with, if you're honest and open with them, then I think they'll understand more than you just saying, yeah, I'm just going to take surgery or, you know, yeah, I'm sick or, you know what, I just quit instead of being more upfront i just think that that was the problem with kyrie irving and after tonight finding out that they got a victory over the toronto raptors it kind of relieves a little bit of the pressure right winning kind of cures the it's like a band-aid for a wound instead of you know if they would have lost this game i think a lot more finger pointing would have been done we all know that jalen brown also criticized kyrie irving for the way that he went about his teammates in the orlando magics game and it's just a whole weird situation with it we know that, I think that when Kyrie Irving realized how upset he was, finger pointing and talking about his teammates, he realized what position LeBron was in when he talked about Kyrie Irving. We all know that LeBron James made some comments about Kyrie Irving calling him a boy and all this other inform and all this other stuff. And I just think that that is what led Kyrie Irving to realize like, you know what? I kind of did some of the same things LeBron did to me and I should apologize because you know what? He's right. I need to be more of a leader. I need to be more upfront. And I just think that that'll be better for everybody. I think that this game and also kind of winning a tough game against the Toronto Raptors, especially with Kawhi Leonard playing, is going to be the wake-up call the Boston Celtics need. We all know that this team played very well, and Jason Tatum is going to be, in my opinion, the number one option for this team here on out uh, until, you know, when he be finally becomes the number one option again and he finds his feet under him. I think his sophomore slump is really causing him to kind of take a step back, but I think he'll get that step forward eventually. But now with Jason Tatum kind of having a great game and Gordon Hayward getting back on his feet and Al Horford playing an amazing game tonight, I just think that this will be the wake-up call, like I said, for the Boston Celtics to finally realize that, look, we have a team that can do something special here, something that could be done for years to come, and that is, of course, win NBA championships and get to NBA finals, because I think that this team has the, tape, the capability and the makeup of getting to a final each and every year. Like I said, they are an oven-baked process, and I think that they're finally ready to go. I think that there was a little bit of hiccups here and there, but I think now it's officially time. And just going back to Kyrie Irving, like I said, I dubbed him the Nightwing of the NBA. And because he's the Nightwing, he wants to be his own leader, his own guy. 
But I think that because Kyrie Irving finally realized it and finally let go of the emotions of what happened between him and LeBron James, and I'm hoping that LeBron James kind of understood where he was coming from. Because I think that everybody eventually, you know, when we all say that, hey, I want to be the leader, I want to be the captain of a team, we're all excited, we're all hyped for it. But it really comes down to, are you capable of, are you, are you of the right makeup to be a leader? Because it takes more than just, you know, being the loudest, being the best player. It takes more of that. It takes more of knowing how people are feeling, you know, the morale of people, how a team is doing, how guys are feeling. You know, you got to do more of that type of information. You can't just be the rah-rah guy. You have to be kind. You have to be uh, vocal. You have to make sure that everyone eats. That's my rule. And I think that that's a rule for a great leader is to have that everyone eats mentality, but also know when it's right to step up. And I think that Kyrie Irving, after this whole ordeal, will finally realize what it takes to be an actual leader. And I think that now we're going to see and decide whether or not Kyrie Irving is going to be a great leader. In my opinion, I'm not really sure that he can be the leader of the team. I think that Al Horford quietly is the leader, but you never know. I mean, Kyrie Irving has that mindset, that capability, that dog in him to be the leader. Not saying that he that he won't ever be, but I just think that right now he needs a lot more growing up to do as he's only 27 years old. I just think that once you reach that 30 mark, I think that's when you become the leader that I know that you can be. I think some people have to grow up faster than others, but I think with this team especially, I think Kyrie Irving is on his way to be the leader, but I think Al Horford for now is going to take over that leadership role. And guys, I want to know your guys' opinion on this whole story. What do you guys think of this apologies to LeBron James? Do you think that LeBron James bought it? Would you accept an apology from Kyrie Irving the way that he treated the Cleveland Cavaliers in that whole ordeal? Or would you say, nah, forget it. I'm not going to forgive you. Uh, screw you, Kyrie Irving. It's You're on your own. I want to know your guys' opinion on that apology. And also, again, on the Boston Celtics, guys, after winning this game, what is going to be the key and what is going to be the success for the Boston Celtics to win an NBA championship or to even get to the NBA finals against guys like the Bucks, the 76ers and the Raptors. What is it going to take to beat those teams? I would love to know your guys' opinion in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, this has been your boy Bernie here on The Charge, giving the latest NBA news and rumors and also basketball opinions. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go and hit and hit that subscribe button also hit that notification bell to make sure that you don't miss in our videos we try to update or upload i should say every other day but anyway guys make sure to check out our other videos and i'll catch you on the next one peace